What's up everybody and welcome to my world. This is a channel where everyone is welcome. So I attend the illustrious Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Attending Claflin has been one of the best decisions I could have ever made. I've connected with some great people, made some incredible friends, shown how much they care for the students. They show, you know, their passion for teaching. They love teaching and they look out for you. They look out for you. I recommend. I recommend going to an HBCU and whatever school that you're looking at. Hope that you are doing your research, calling the schools, doing virtual tours, or if they're doing on-campus tours, whatever you may do. I hope that you do your research. To my high school seniors who are getting ready to graduate, I, first I want to say congratulations. I am super proud of you. I know senior year and doing work online has been extremely, extremely tough, but congratulations and I am so excited for your future to see what God has in store for all of you and so I want to say keep going and not to give up and if you're thinking about going to college you know make sure like I said do your research if you're not going to college that is totally okay whatever you desire or plan to do I just pray success and favor over your life because I know that you are going to do incredible things even in the midst of this pandemic so college life virtually i'm in my second semester junior year and i can say when the pandemic started i was actually on tour with concert choir and came home because we had to end the tour early because of the pandemic then they made the decision we're going to do online classes and things like that i can honestly say my first semester was it was hell. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. It was it was it was pretty hard because I did not like doing online. I was on the screen every day. Um, my eyes began to hurt. I began to have crazy migraines, and I just felt like I wasn't really taking care of myself. Like I was just trying to hurry up and do these assignments, do these assignments, and they were lenient. They were still the professors were still trying to adjust as well, but I just it was just so tough. It was tough, like. Been at home. But now this semester, this semester, this second semester, I made a conscious decision that I was going to do way better academically and spiritually than I did last year. Because just I just wasn't in the right mindset to perform well. But this semester, I made it my mission to communicate with my professors, ask questions, um, you know, attend office hours, make sure I'm reading, you know, and make sure I'm taking care of myself. And that's what I want to talk about. Like, even though we're in a pandemic, I see um, that a lot of people are not taking care of themselves. A lot of students are not taking care of themselves. Um, they stand up three, four o'clock in the morning um, trying to finish an assignment or, you know, they just can't sleep. But I want to say, take care of yourself. Go for a walk. Uh, walking has been so helpful to to my mental. Now I I can go to class. I'm energized. I'm focused. Doing something consistent can help you stay on track. I find that to be very 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 true. In your diet as well, what you eat can affect how you work. What you eat, putting your body, can affect your performance. Um, so I recently started juicing. Um, I cut out meat. I do see a major difference in my performance when it comes down to my academics. And so one of the things I want to say um, about this online stuff is that take your time. Take your time. You know, some of you work. I work. Create a schedule that works for you that you know that you can accomplish or make a... <laughs> Excuse me. Or make a list. Make a list. Now, if you don't accomplish everything on that list, it's okay. It is okay. To every problem, there is a solution. You don't have to worry about everything. Communicate with your professors or um, sit down, replan, go back to the drawing board, create a plan that is going to help you accomplish what you need to accomplish 
within that week. Yeah. Talking to yourself. People who say you talk to yourself is crazy. No, the people who don't talk to themselves are crazy. Talk to yourself. Speak the word of God over your life. I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. I am loved. I am forgiven given i am strong i am a winner like speak to yourself because i'm telling you like when you start speaking life over yourself you become what you speak you you start becoming what you start speaking over your life it will help you it will help you i'm trying i'm like this i'm telling what works and so i want to encourage you to have a trustworthy friend to talk to um, to cry to, to vent to, whatever you need to do, have someone you can talk to. Um, you know, this is really a bad time to be holding stuff in, but you just need to, you just need a good release. Mm, 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 mm. You need a good release. Like my, my friends and I said, I just need a good cry. You need a good cry. That's what you need. You just need a good cry. You need someone to talk to, someone who can encourage you, pray for you, um, speak the word, you know, that's what you need. And I, I am so blessed to have those people. Um, I am so blessed to have those people in my life because, ooh, I don't know where I would be without them. I don't know where I would be without them. So thank God for friends and godly community. So yes. Oh. Don't be, on, don't, don't be on the computer screen all day. I know you, some wake up from eight o'clock and they last class from like four o'clock or whatever, but take some time away from the computer screen. If you can take a nap throughout the day, I mean, somewhere in the middle of the day, please do that because I did not do that when the pandemic started. I had migraines, my eyes were hurting all the time and it was due to me looking at the computer screen all day, doing papers all day, reading all day, um, doing projects all day. But I had to learn, take time for myself, go outside, do whatever, and take a break from the computer screen. Cause that laptop, you no, know, it, 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 it's damaging. It's honestly, I wanna encourage you to keep going and do not give up. Please don't give up, do not give up. Like I said, talk to yourself, talk to yourself. If you need someone to talk life and speak life to you, DM me, message me, whatever. And I will be gladly to push you to keep going for, I just believe that, you know, as believers, we can't give up. I found myself wanting to give up um, and just be like, you know, I'm done with this college thing. It's too much on me. But I kept going with the help of my friends, with the help of my professors and with the help of God and making a decision for myself. What do I want for myself? Do what's best for you. I didn't give up. So I pray that you don't give up. And I hope what was said in this video helped you, encouraged you, inspired you. And I hope that you have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day.